So what we have here is a step bit. This one is uh, from Milwaukee, but you can find them from Irwin or a whole bunch of other companies. So they're made out of really hard steel, I believe. Uh, the really nice thing about these is that you'll notice there's all of the different sizes all the way down to one and one eighths inch. And what we utilize these for is punching holes either for cable routing that you're gonna be doing in a build or for, in this case, we're gonna be running tubes. One and an eighth inch is just bigger than a standard G and quarter uh, fitting, as well as the, the knuckles that go around it. And we use this to drill through cases if we need to run either tubing through here or just a cable management. When I use this step bit, I'm not actually gonna put a whole lot of downward pressure on it. I'm just gonna let the step bit actually fall down and it will fall down when it is ready. And there we have our inch and one eighth. And you could tell that it was just hopping down each time it went through another step. Again, I would still go over this with sandpaper just to dull those edges. So this one and an eighth inch hole works really well for these thermal take fittings and probably most hard line fittings with the knuckle grooves on the outside. I've used this same step drill bit for creating holes to route liquid tubing like PTG, acrylic, flex tubing, stainless steel. This bit alone covers all the different ranges of ODs available for tubing on the market today. I used to use small hole saws, but after using the step drill bit, I've abandoned those. Let us know in the comments what you use to make small holes. Do you use a hole saw or a step drill bit or try to find a massive size drill bit? Let us know. And also, thank you for supporting and watching our videos.